Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle AED inside uh, another right triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 24 units. This segment uh, AD is uh, 25. And this uh, vertical uh, segment uh, DE is uh, represented by X. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AE is equal to this uh, segment uh, BE. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different uh, approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points uh, B and uh, D, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment uh, AE equals to this segment uh, EB, and this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ABD is an isosceles uh, triangle. So that means uh, this uh, side length uh, BD is going to be equal to this side length uh, AD. If this uh, AD side length is uh, 25, then this uh, BD side length is going to be 25 uh, units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BCD. And we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem to find out uh, this side length uh, CD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case, we don't know the value of a square plus uh, b is uh, 24 whole square equal to c is uh, 25 whole square. Let's simplify a square plus 576 equal to 625. Let's subtract 576 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, a square turns out to be 49. Let's undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, our a value turns out to be positive 7. So therefore, our this uh, a value turns out to be 7. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, segment uh, AD is uh, 25 and this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 7. So therefore, this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AC turns out to be 25 plus 7 is going to make uh, 32. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger uh, right triangle uh, ABC, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 24 and uh, 32. And now we are interested in finding uh, this uh, length uh, AB. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, A and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 24. So this becomes 24 square b is 32 whole square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us uh, 1024 plus uh, 576 uh, equal to c square. So therefore, c square turns out to be 1600. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both sides. So therefore, our c value turns out to be 40. So thus our this uh, c value turns out to be positive 40. And now let's make an observation. We can see this whole uh, a b length uh, is uh, 40 and uh, these uh, two segments are equal. So therefore, AE length uh, is going to be 20 
and then uh, e b length is going to be 20 as well and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our two complementary angles in other words some of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees so let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle uh, alpha since this is a 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta and now let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle abc if this angle is alpha this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta so therefore we conclude that uh, these two right triangles uh, triangle abc and the other uh, triangle aed are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the, the ratio of de and a let me write down de divided by a e is uh, going to be equal to the ratio of this side length bc and uh, this side length ac let me go ahead and write down bc divided by ac and now we know our de length is uh, x ae is uh, 20 bc is uh, 24 and ac is uh, 32 so therefore i can write down uh, x divided by 20 equals to 24 divided by 32 let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 20 to isolate uh, x and we can see that 20 and 20 is uh, gone so therefore x turns out to be equal to 15 units so therefore our x value turns out to be 15 and now let me show you an alternative approach and now let's recall the pythagorean uh, triplets and we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, aed and here are uh, our pythagorean triplets uh, three four and five now let's go ahead and multiply all these numbers uh, by five so therefore when we multiply three times five is going to be 15 5 times 4 is going to be 20 and finally 5 times 5 is going to be 25 and now we can see we got these uh, 20 and 25 so no wonder this uh, length turns out to be 15 so thus the x value turns out to be 15 uh, units as you can see over here and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye